Get ready for an extreme furniture makeover. So I bought these two low boy end tables from a thrift store for $10 each. So instead of redoing them, I'm gonna be transforming them into a dresser. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am a furniture flipper. I buy worn out, damaged, and old furniture from thrift stores. I give them a makeover, a new look, and a new life, and then sell them for a profit. Furniture flipping is a great avenue for me to express myself artistically, plus I'm able to make a little money on the side. But that's enough about me. Let's get to this extreme furniture makeover. So these little low boys both had mismatched hardware on them and they also had a press board tabletop on them that was not original to the pieces and they had holes throughout them. So to start off this makeover, I removed the drawers and then unscrewed the tabletops from both of them and took them off. And then my hubby Obi helped me out and cut off the wooden legs off of one of the tables. Then I removed the mismatched knobs, filled in the extra holes with some wood filler, and then I gave these tables a thorough cleaning with a soapy rag and water. Then I primed them using Kiehl's Premium Primer. I applied one coat of the primer and after that dried, it is time to paint and I'm using Waverly Inspirations Chalk Paint in the color Elephant. I absolutely love this paint and love the richness of this coloring. After applying two coats of paint, I sealed it with a water-based polyurethane. So now I need a new tabletop for this dresser. So I'm gonna be making my own and after measuring the size that I needed, I grabbed a loo on board and cut out the size of the base And then on my table saw, I cut down some boards and then I began cutting them up into different sizes and we made a Harrington bone pattern tabletop. It was definitely quite the experience and a ton of work and I will probably never do that again. So after I had all the pieces together, I glued all of the wood down to that base with the Gorilla wood glue. After allowing that to dry overnight, I took it outside and then I grabbed my air gun and began nailing from the underside just to make sure that the boards were secure. Then I grabbed my handsaw and cut down these edges so everything is nice and flush. And then we added some trim along the sides and nailed and glued them into place. Then I stained it using some Midwax Classic Gray Stain and then I sealed it with a water-based polyurethane.
So now it's time to turn these two pieces into one. Obi helped me out and drilled a hole in the middle of each of the corners. Then he cut some dowel pegs to go into the holes, glued them into place, and trimmed them down a little bit so that they would fit a little bit better. and then drilled holes in the second table as well. And then we put the two together and set them into place. Then we clamped it and allowed it to dry overnight. To make these two pieces more uniform, Obi cut a notch in between to match with the top one. And to cover the seam in between the two, I trimmed down a scrap board on the table saw and then cut it to size, painted it, and glued it into place. Now it's time to put the top on and Obi pre-drilled some holes and then screwed it into the base. I bought these gorgeous adjustable size drawer pulls. I put the drawers back in and just a quick reminder of what these two little end tables looked like before. And here it is now as a dresser. I have about $65 in redoing this piece and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $200. That is a profit of 135. I probably could have sold this for more, but at the time I did not have the space to store them. So I had to sell this as quickly as I could and get it out of my house. Even though it may not have been my biggest money maker, it was definitely one of the more fun and challenging of my furniture flips that I have done thus far. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not already subscribed to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in a later video.